Hey everyone, this is Wake Angel 2001 This is something that I don't normally talk about a lot, Pokemon toys. Um, I do own a few Pokemon action figures, but it's not like I have a big collection of them. I do like Pokemon, and there are a lot that I, there are a lot that I would like to get proper figures of. It's just that so many Pokemon action figures are compromised by gimmicks. Uh, so they just don't really hit my sense of what I would, what I'm looking for in a figure line, you know? Um, but we are taking a look at the Heracross figure that Zach just sent to me as a gift. Um, because in Generation 2, uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver and Crystal, Heracross was my favorite Pokemon. You know, from that generation. Um, and he's still, I would still say he's within my top 10, top 15 at the very lowest. Um, and I say he because this is clearly a male Heracross by the shape of the horn. But yeah, we are getting... He is very easy to get out of his packaging because he's not held down by anything. And we got us some universally jointed shoulders. So yes, he can do that. Uh, no elbows, no swivels or hinges of any kind, just, just shoulders. His hips don't seem to move either. Nope, no. Oop. Wait, what? I have no idea what that is. Hold on, does he have instructions? Because this is a gimmicky figure too, so... Like I said, I don't, I don't really do gimmicky action figures. I'm not a kid anymore. I want, I want posability and displayability for my action figures. Okay, this is just a checklist. This tells me nothing. What about the back of the box? Here, okay, it looks like you push him down and he... Uh-huh. Okay. I think the idea is that he's supposed to be down like this and then like, he swings himself back up. You know, like how a Hercules beetle will suplex a rival to get a mate. That's... That's how Heracross, that's how Hercules Beetles fight. So, yeah. Um, very basic figure. It looks like Heracross. It looks good, so that's fine. The gimmick does not seem to work as advertised. It's much more happy to let its legs kick out so it jumps slightly rather than have his head whip up the way it's really meant to. And, um, I guess that's fine. <laughs> I would have liked him to have elbows at least, like at, at least elbows, or if not an elbow joint, at least a swivel so you could rotate them a little bit. I don't know. Just give me something. It's my my big old sumo wrestling. He's, he's a sumo wrestling Hercules beetle that's the size of a person. Like, that's, that's kind of cool. That's what made him one of my favorite Pokemon back in the day. Um, but oh well. Uh, I guess, yeah, there really isn't that much to say about this figure because, like I said, I, I concentrate mostly on posability and, you know, like, this thing isn't, doesn't even really have a detailed paint job. It's, Heracross is not a complicated design. He has eyes, he has claws, the rest is all one color. I mean, maybe they could have at least had his shell open, so, but, again, like, that's kind of beyond the scope for this figure. Like, this is not meant to be a big posable action figure. Coming down from, from those movie Sonic figures I was just talking about, this seems comparatively oversimple, but whatever. Thank you for the gift, Zach. It was very thoughtful, and I will display him with the other Pokemon figures that I have. So this is Wake Angel 2001 signing off.